Hi friends, this is Amu Jairaj. So today we are going to see the strategies and resources for the ethics paper, that is GS4 paper. So mainly, what are the resources, that is the books to be seen for the syllabus and also the strategy we need to adopt for that particular paper. This is what we are going to see. So uh, talking about my profile, uh, this year, my rank is 141 and uh, my optional subject is Geography and I had done BE Civil Engineering. So, regarding the subscriptions for Unacademy, if you are interested, then you can either go for the Plus subscription or Iconic subscription. And for both the subscriptions, if you are applying this code, referral code, which is AMMU, you will be getting a 10 percentage discount. So now coming to the ethics part, this is the syllabus. So I am giving you the syllabus now and the resources according to the syllabus. That is what we are going to discuss right now. So regarding ethics and human interface, attitude, aptitude and foundational values for civil services, emotional intelligence, contribution of moral thinkers and philosophers from India and world. For this particular syllabus, you can refer the book Lexicon, Civil Services Chronicle, which is a very small book and very compact also, simple language. So you can uh, refer this book. This book is sufficient for covering almost the whole syllabus of ethics paper itself. Apart from that, I added examples, like if some question is being asked on attitude means, I will be explaining about attitude, whatever being there in the book or uh, like in my own words. And after that, I will be quoting some examples also. So for that, I really used newspapers and magazines, whatever, uh, uh, whatever instances had been covered by newspaper or something which is being seen in magazines, I used to just add that. I used to note it down actually in my five subject compilation and I used to revise it also. And whenever the questions are being asked on that particular, um, uh, for particular thing, I used to add these examples. And then comes the quotes, quotes on attitude, emotional intelligence, integrity, and against corruption. For this, I referred internet. There are a lot of quotes related to corruption, that is against corruption, integrity, and all. Mainly Mahatma Gandhiji's uh, quotes you can use. Aristotle's quote for attitude, very, very important. Then for emotional intelligence also, there are lots of quotes by various business uh, women, businessmen and all. So that you can uh, very well accommodate in your answers. Now comes the examples. How to write the examples? See, for example, this was one of the instances what I came across from newspaper. That is, Kar police corps celebrated birthday of a senior citizen within their locality. So it is a kind of empathy. So when a question is being asked from empathy, you can very well talk about this instant because incident because uh, this is not the actual duty of a police officer. However, he is feeling empathetic towards that senior citizen, and that is why they went in, they went ahead, they celebrated the birthday of the senior citizen. In the same way, this one that is. Change from fair look to glam look tag by commercials, especially that is that has been done by fair and lovely now. So that could be very well used for emotional intelligence. That is, they are able to understand the emotions of people. So accordingly, uh, they are going ahead by changing their tag itself. So that example could be very well used for emotional intelligence. And then comes certain actions of civil servants against corruption. Example, Durga Shakti Nagpal. So this very well shows her commitment towards service. So anything about integrity, commitment, any question is being asked, you can very well quote these examples. Then your own experience from your life itself, 
something you have come across, some teacher's uh, actions or action by some public servant or something, you can very well quote that. I mean, you can add that in your answer. So these are certain samples. Now comes the role of diagrams. Actually, flow charts could be very well utilized for uh, ethics paper. Uh, so these are certain examples of uh, flow charts, whatever I had drawn for my mocks. So this is idea of trusteeship. If any question asked about trusteeship, I did like this. Something like wealth, surplus wealth being distributed to poor people. In the same way, like this, a flow chart could be done for integrity. What integrity means? That is being honest, objective, unbiased, transparent, extremely committed. So like this, I drew some diagrams in between so that my answer will look very good. I mean, the presentation part will be uh, extremely good then. Now comes the other part that is public civil service values and ethics in public administration. So all that accountability, ethical governance, etc. And then probity in governance, that is concept of public service, philosophical basis of governance, uh, citizen charter, quality of service delivery, challenges of corruption. For this also, I use the resource lexicon book, the same book itself. Apart from that, you can also make use of the Yojana, September 2020 book. It is about ethics and integrity. You just go through that book and see whether there are any kind of case studies being mentioned, any kind of initiatives from the government side, and that can be very well quoted as examples in your answer. And then comes second ARC report. For other papers and all, I had mentioned that I had read only the summary part of second ARC report, but in the case of ethics, there is one separate chapter in the ARC report dealing with ethics in governance. But I went through the whole chapter of this ethics in governance. And that really helped me in covering this whole syllabus. That is property in governance and civil services values. So th these are about the uh, ethics that 10 mark questions, how to be covered. Now we, we shall see how to see the, I mean, how to structureize the case studies. In the case of case studies, you usually get questions of two types. One is, there will be a case study and then they will be asking you regarding the ethical issues involved in that particular case. In the second one, there will be again a case study and they will be asking you uh, for different courses of action to be done, the pros and cons of each course of action and which course of action will you adopt. So like this, you can get two types of questions. In the case of ethical issues involved, I started with, I will start the answer with an intro. That is something, a two line about what the case study talks about. And then I will mention the stakeholders involved for that particular case like this. Stakeholders, who are the stakeholders? Or it may be organization, employees, co-staffs, like that. I will draw one diagrammatic representation I will do. And then I will explain the ethical issues experienced by each stakeholder. Whomever I had referred, all these stakeholders from their point, what are the ethical issues that I will just mention? Then uh, I, I try to include terminologies. Ethical terminologies are there. Like for example, ethical dilemma, illegal gratification for corruption and all. You can use that term. Utilitarianism. Like this, these terms you will get from lexicon book itself. So that you can very well accommodate in your answer. Then I used point format for presenting my answers. Bulletin format is what I use for case studies as well as for the 10 mark questions also. So this is one type of question that is ethical issues involved. The second one is course of action, pros and cons of each one and which course of action will you adopt. Here also 
I will begin the answer with a small intro, which will be only of two lines, like what the case study talks about. And then I will begin with each course of action. Different types will be there, what and all have to be done. So for each course of action, I will be giving pros and cons. And remember that you give equal weightage for each course of action. It should not be that the first one will be for half page and then the second one for just uh, one fourth page. Not like that. Try to give equal weightage for all the course of actions. And then you explain the course of action that you will adopt in detail with reasons. For that, you have to give extra weightage because that, that, that comprises of the next part of the question. So you need to give importance to that particular course of action and you need to explain in detail why you are taking that course of action. Okay. So these are all about the ethics paper. So uh, try to stick on to limited like one or two sources, resources for uh, ethics paper and try to quote as many as, as many examples as possible. Like you can refer newspapers, magazines. From that you will get lot of uh, examples like magazines and all like it's a very rich source for ethics case studies. And then try to structureize your answers really well and uh, try to accommodate a lot of flow charts in, on your paper and this will definitely make your paper really attractive. And regarding time management, I started my answers with like case studies. I, uh, I started with case studies and then I went to the 10 mark questions. So I hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you so much.